Pablo! That's not Pablo. Yes, it is. Igor Pavlovich, rescue at large. <laughs> Comrades, you're too late. Already I have flooded your movies with communist propaganda. Your workers, well, they will rise up, unionize, demand ridiculous wages, and then all American industry will fail and move to communist China. <laughs> Is good plan, no? <laughs> oh, 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 please. Oh, that is rich. America will always be a pillar of industry. We're unstoppable. Our hunger and work ethic make us invincible. As if America would ever become fat, lazy, and entitled like you commies. Tonight, we can proudly say the state of our union is strong and getting stronger. It's no accident. It's Bidenomics. That's Bidenomics. That's investing in America. And guess what? It's working. Inflation rising. Gas prices are surging. Our border is in chaos. We've seen millions of illegal immigrants pour over the border. Shootings, carjackings, and robberies happening by the day. We have rescinded. Inflation's not going away. People can't afford groceries. Prices have skyrocketed. Shelter up 20%. Energy costs up 30%. Israel has declared it is at war. Russia's full-scale invasion of Ukraine. Bad for working families. Bad for American jobs. Bad for the world order and stability. I, Kamal Harris, am your Democrat candidate for president because Joe Biden finally exposed his senility of the debate. Thanks, Joe. I was selected because I am the ultimate diversity hire. I'm both a woman and a person of color. So if you criticize anything I say, you're both sexist and racist. I may not know the first thing about running the country, but remember, that's a good thing if you're a deep state puppet. I had four years under the tutelage of the ultimate deep state puppet, a wonderful mentor, Joe Biden. Joe taught me rule number one, carefully hide your total incompetence. I take in significant things and I discuss them as if they're significant. And I believe that exploring the significance of the insignificant is in itself significant. Talking about the significance of the passage of time, right? The significance of the passage of time. So when you think about it, there is great significance to the passage of time, and there is such great significance to the passage of time. Another trick is trying to sound black. I pretend to celebrate Kwanzaa, and in my speeches, I always do my best Barack Obama impression. So hear me when I say, I know Donald Trump's type. And okay, look, maybe my work addressing the root causes of the border crisis were catastrophic, but my knowledge of international politics is truly shocking. The United States shares a very important relationship, which is an alliance with the Republic of North Korea. It is an alliance that is strong and enduring. And just remember, when voting this November, it is important to see what can be unburdened by what has been. And by what has been, I mean, Joe Biden. Do you think the country went to sh over the past four years? Everyday prices are too high. Food, rent, gas, back to school clothes. That is called Bidenomics. A loaf of bread costs 50% more today. Ground beef is up almost 50%. There's not much left at the end of the month. Bidenomics is working. The price of housing has gone up. It feels so hard to just be able to get ahead. And we are very proud of Bidenomics. Elon Musk said, he wants to take away your right to free speech in America. I think we need to push back on this. There, there's no guarantee to free speech on misinformation or, or hate speech, and especially around our democracy. I'm Gavin Newsom, the governor of California. This is a message for the people of America, given in my authentically recorded non-AI voice. Thanks to my leadership over the last several years, California has become a world leader in extremist left-wing governance. My policies were so effective that almost one million people are now fleeing the state every year. We even ran out of U-Hauls. 
During the COVID pandemic, I locked everyone in their homes and shut down businesses for months. Not the French Laundry though, that's my favorite restaurant. Last year, I cleaned up the dangerous, messy streets of San Francisco, you know, because Chinese Communist President Xi was coming, and I really wanted to impress him. He's my boss, after all. This year, I signed legislation that allows me to take custody of your kid if you refuse to give him artificial hormones and chop off his genitals. Because if you don't do that, you're a bigot, and bigots shouldn't be allowed to have kids. I've also led the way in green energy by banning all cars that don't run on electricity. Then I banned almost all the electricity. This is smart leadership. On my watch, the cost of living and homelessness have skyrocketed. Schools are failing. Drug dealers and human traffickers are pouring across the border. And poop has covered the sidewalks of San Francisco. This is the positive, joyful vision we offer as Democrats. That's why I'm enthusiastically endorsing Kamala Harris for president in 2024. She'll do to the country everything I did in California. Anyway, I'm California Governor Gavin Newsom, and I approve this 100% real message, which is a recording of my voice without the assistance of any AI whatsoever. This isn't a deep fake, and you can rest assured that it isn't because I just signed an unconstitutional law outlawing deep fakes. No one would dare violate it. Thank you, and science bless America.